Hello, welcome to the Indian Express online channel. Rahul Gandhi went to Bangalore today to address the town hall with students at Mount Carmel College in Bangalore. Uh, it came at a good time when uh, there's been this renewed increase in the, in, the, in the noise about tolerance in the country and this would, one would imagine, was a very good time for Rahul Gandhi to sort of strike while the iron is hot. Uh, to discuss uh, how Rahul did and uh, what uh, he might have done or what he maybe should do now, we have Udit with us. Uh, so Udit, uh, you watched the Rahul Gandhi speech, uh, what do you make of it? Well, so the, as far as the timing is concerned, it was, a, it was aptly timed and one would have thought that even the setting was right. Mm -hmm. It was... Um, uh, a setting where there were a lot of women and with the uh, whole debate about intolerance mm -hmm. one would have thought that uh, his views would resonate mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. with the audience but um, as it has happened a number of times the effect was not really uh, as he had intended mm -hmm. um, and um, it is it is understandable that the congress is buoyed up with the bihar result mm -hmm. and uh, sees the Bihar result as a bit of its own victory, mm -hmm. um, which may or may not be correct, um, and uh, and s and thinks that this is the time when maybe the tide can turn, um, and and the Congress can finally get back into the national uh, discourse, mm -hmm. um, gain some amount of uh, um, uh, ground uh, among the youth, especially, um, and and try to build a certain narrative. Uh, for itself, uh, and Rahul Gandhi is very much sort of leading that um, that uh, war. But uh, as it turned out, um, in effect, we only heard what we have heard from Mr. Gandhi a number of times. Uh, there was nothing terribly new, mm -hmm. apart from the fact that, uh, unlike in the past when he was in a po position of uh, authority and power and it was his government or a Congress government, uh, right now he was in a mode where he would criticize the Prime Minister mm -hmm. uh, instead of defend the, mm -hmm. uh, the Prime Minister. But uh, the sum and substance of what he said was largely the same. He still talked about uh, 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 right to information, importance of women, yeah. corruption. Um, frankly, much of that has, I mean, those those issues have been milked uh, yeah. at the national level, and Mr. Modi has actually come yeah. uh, come to power. On no, that's that, that's that's interesting, Lee, also because uh, if you remember, Mr. Modi he started his election campaign with this speech at SRCC, the famous 2013 speech at SRCC, and he seemed to be pressing all the right buttons at that time. Uh, you know, I, I was just making a list of that. He talked of the opportunity that India provides and. Of course, he talked of governance, which has been his pet theme for quite some time now. He spoke of technology, he spoke of marketing and packaging yourself better and the country better. He spoke of skill development. Now, all of these are things which uh, uh, one would imagine that a college audience would would connect very closely with. So that is particularly relevant when you say that Rahul spoke of things uh, which uh, may be a little far removed from the concerns that people have. There's one thing else I wanted to ask you, Deep. Uh, there's been a lot of comment uh, in on TV, on social media, uh, about uh, uh, Rahul having made uh, some um, statements which he sort of let himself in uh, a situation, painted himself into a corner wherein he might be embarrassed. Like he uh, asked uh, yes. the audience about, uh, do you uh, do you think that India is getting uh, swatch or making India is working? Yeah. And and the response wasn't quite uh, uh, what he expected. So so do you yeah. think? Actually, did you think this so? was this was um, hardly surprising in that sense mm -hmm. uh, uh, because if you look at his past and mm -hmm. and several of his press conferences, there were many such moments mm -hmm. where he sort of. Uh, his narrative got derailed mm -hmm. and not because somebody asked something but he himself just could not sustain it. Mm. So here also today again he sort of got into a moment where he um, sounded very diffident mm -hmm. uh, and unsure of himself and actually asked the audience about whether a particular program is working or not. not working. And it shows two things. One is the lack of connect with the audience, mm -hmm. lack of connect with the uh, the general public opinion about the current regime. Mm -hmm. 
uh, whether it's working or not working, that's a different matter. Mm. What people think about it is a different matter, and and and, and, a, and a good politician knows the pulse of the people. Mm. So, um, in that sense, one was the issue about uh, uh, knowing the pulse of the people and how they might react. The second is so, the so more. Just, if I could just sort of uh, button there, uh, do you think that uh, this this uh, this debate about intolerance in the country, um, irrespective of how that debate ultimately plays out, and we see lots of, uh, uh, you know, you have this side and that side, and a lot of noise and argument, etc. But the prime minister's personal political capital, do you think that continues to remain unaffected? I think to a great extent that is true. I mean, uh, so in that sense, a direct attack on the prime minister may not be the best of uh, it things. It may not be. It may not be. Although, I mean, in this year, the Prime Minister um, uh, has lost two elections, two big elections. Um, one to a political upstart like Kejriwal, mm. and another to a almost a political out uh, outcast yeah, in like Lalu Prasad yeah, exactly, yeah. So, in that sense, these are the two most unlikely people to sort of beat uh, the Prime Minister on exactly, his own game. Exactly. But they, but that is where the lesson is for Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Gandhi, Gandhi yeah. that he does, he has to see how these people connect both. Mr. Lalu Prasad and Mr. Kejriwal have a very clear understanding of who their constituencies are and how to connect with them, what do they feel, what, it, what works with them. And with Mr. Gandhi, time, again, it, time and again it has come through that he is unsure, even if he has the idea. And which is very crucial. That's certainly what it appears to be. That is what <laughs> it appears to be. And that has been the way it has carried on for a very long time. And uh, his uh, diffidence and his being unsure about what his ideas are, and uh, that puts him in a spot. So, did, uh, having listened to the speech, and he has been fairly aggressive, uh, and one hopes that one will hear a bit of him in Parliament as well once it starts from tomorrow. So, so what what would you think uh, are the two or three things that the Congress or he, Mr. Gandhi? Ought to work on as as he goes on uh, in his in his political battle. So it was very interesting to look at the questions that were asked to him, and the questions very specific, very specific questions, questions were asked, and um, they were about um, um, asking why there was a certain duplicity in the Congress stand when it sort of aligns with the Lalu Prasad Yadav, right, right, uh, and yet says that we are anti-corruption. Right. Um, uh, similarly, um, it, it talked about the fact that you know you are opposing the GST bill. Right. Almost it seems for the heck of it, you know, just to you know score a political point. Right. Um, and people want to know whether you genuinely believe in development or are you just playing a political game here. That essentially means that he has to first understand that his the 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 constituency he wants to address does not want duplicity. It wants an honest effort. So even in the parliament, uh, and there might be genuine issues why Congress might feel um, sort of um, humiliated by the current regime that you know he said that they shut us out, they threw us out, and this is not how democracy works. And and those points, to a great extent, should be appreciated. Democracy is not about throwing people out of the discourse and then getting the vote through. However, Rahul Gandhi must come through as an honest politician who genuinely believes in certain issues and is willing to give them a shot. All the things that he raised, he raised issues about only one man decides in this party. Right. But actually that is true about his party. Right. Um, then he, he, he talked about um, uh, you know, the fact that um, uh, nothing much has changed. But if you look at the last few years of the UPA rule, nothing actually that kind either. of yeah. you know, policy yeah. paralysis was the yeah. main yeah. thing. So I mean, Many of these things sort of yeah. recoil. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, clearly, uh, some of the sheen of the Modi government seems to be wearing off a year and a half into the government. But the Congress has, as it fights its political battle, has several lessons to learn and a long way to go. Parliament starts from tomorrow morning. We shall see how things go. Thank you.